I will be attempting to move the disk platter from one hard drive to the another. This is a friend's broken hard drive, this one here, and there's precious data on it, and I believe the culprit to be the controller board first, so, and these are exactly the same kind of hard drives, which is pretty lucky because this one is my old hard drive from my laptop that I replaced with an SSD drive, so it's um, it's not really wanted. It's 250 gigs, so it's not it's not huge, and so is this one. This one's 250 gigs, so I'm going to replace the controller boards first before I go any further, because I've attempted to recover data from this one, and I can't even get raw data from it. So, and yes, this is my leatherworking station. I vacuumed it. This is the cleanest it's going to get, and uh, I know that she cannot afford the gazillion dollars that it costs to get data off of platter, so as long as I take it careful and slow, it should be going good. So, and I've never seen anyone do this before or anything like that, and I just thought it'd be interesting to record this. I'm wearing a very funny hat right now to keep uh, my dry scalp out of uh, the hard drive. No, you cannot see my silly hat. It's actually um, not a hat. It's it's a neck warmer. It just it goes over your head and wrapped around your neck, but it looks awfully silly on my head. But it's doing a fine job as the top of it is open, so I won't actually get that hot. So it's actually. Pretty clever here. I, I was trying to think of how to set this up, and the first thing I thought was put a plastic bag over my head, but I don't know. That that felt just the idea of it felt awkward, so I didn't do it. All right, there's the controller board off of the laptop, old laptop, and everything on there is uh, good to go. I'm just gonna put that right right there. I'll put this like that. I'm trying to keep myself organized. So this one's next. And what? There's already two screws missing from this hard drive. Oh boy. Uh, I think this hard drive actually may be a, uh, a refurbished model. It wouldn't surprise me because the laptop that I took this from was an HP laptop. Uh, Windows. Actually, I don't know what version of Windows it was. But yeah, it's, it's one of the, the cheapos that you get in the box stores that has barely enough power to uh, run 2 gigs of RAM, I think, at most. But it's also pretty old, but you know. Well, that screw wasn't in there hard at all. That was just kind of sitting there doing nothing. All right. So before I do... Oh, it has an HP spare sticker on it, so that'll that'll come in handy. I am going to inspect these two because uh, the, with the HP laptop, the SATA drive was connected like a ribbon cable, but really crappily done. There's essentially nothing that was holding it in, and when she gave it to me, mailed it. I don't know if when it because her laptop fell and it broke. I don't know if uh, the falling disconnected the cord and shorted something out in here that I can't visually see right now. If anything, I'll get my other light here from, from my sewing machine. I don't actually know what this looks like on camera right now. I'll turn it off here in a second. Hmm. I don't see anything, but the components all look the same. There's only minor differentiations in, in the... Uh, cycle controller here that's um it makes sure the power i'm pretty sure that's what it is make sure the power is regulated i don't see any differences a lot of the parts are all the same the chips the chips are from different companies except the marvel chip yep all right well let's uh let's put this one actually this is the broken one so let's put this in the corner up here Turn this off. Put that over there. All right. So, putting the old uh, controller board from my Lenovo 
hard drive that I used probably mm, for like a little bit. Um, okay, where are, where are the connectors? The connectors are here and here. Okay. Trying to make sure I use all the screws in the best place possible. Because there's not, not all of them are there. Snug but not tight. Eh, get on there. It's magnetic, but not not very strong. But this uh, this is from this little screwdriver here is from the the iFixit kit, which is an awesome little kit. After I'm done screwing these in, I'll show you what the kit looks like. Well, at least the screwdriver part. I don't want to bring dust over too much over here. Kind of cleaned it all right. Okay, those are there, and I would like to secure in the part where it plugs into the machine because you know that's all. It's going to take a some amount of stress, but it should be fine. I'm doing this the silliest way possible. Put it on the screw first, dummy. On the screw. That's right. And in there. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Honest. Okay. That's on there. I'm going to check to see if this works. Before I do that, here is here's the kit that I'm using. It's the iFixit kit. Um, it's just beautiful. It comes with essentially everything you could ever ever need when fixing your electronics of any sort. It comes with another thing with more more tools in it, some metal pry tools and stuff. But this is the uh, the main thing here that really gets you excited. It comes with an electric strap thing, but um. I'm, I'm diffused of that, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, so I'm going to be back. I'm going to test this part out first, and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, I'm back, and that was um, very unsuccessful. It, it makes... It starts up the spinning, the heads go into... Reader heads go into place, and then the reader heads go back, and it shuts off. So even though they are the same... Practically the same serial number branch, I believe. Hold on. Uh, let's see here. Where is the serial number? Essentially, I mean, where's the manufacture date? Where is it? You're always hidden on here somewhere. Come on. They used to say when they were. Uh, oh wait, there you. Okay, this one was produced January 11th, January 2011, sorry. This one was produced July 2011. I mean, not that far apart, but I guess just enough firmware change to make it unhappy and go, mm, no, um, no, I'm not going to do that for you. No. So either that or the reader heads, are, whoops, whoa. Now kids, hold on to the hard drive when you're unscrewing. Either that or the reader heads are damaged and it knows it when it engages it and then disengages it. So now my only choice now is to put the old board on the Lenovo. Or it's a Hitachi. It's from my Lenovo. Hard drive. Not that way. Silly. And do the tedious task of uh, taking out the disc head, the platter, sorry, and putting it in this one, which I'm going to admit right now, I really don't know what it takes to do that. I'm pretty sure since these things spin at 5,400 rotations a minute that it's in there pretty good. But we'll find out. We won't we? Hmm. So that will be interesting. If I can get the screws on here, that'd be good too. I don't know, I'm not wearing gloves or anything, and this isn't like the best conditions for dust and whatnot, but I vacuumed, I've used a can of air, I let the dust settle, and that's that's really the most I can do. When money's a little tight, you gotta learn how to do things, and even though I've never done this before, I did the smart thing of looking it up, hearing an ambulance go by. Yep. 
There it goes. Or or a fire hide, fire truck, whichever. Anyway. I mean I've I've opened up hard drives before. This isn't my first time doing that. I've I've done that before where I open it up, I look inside. Yeah. Find out what's going on. Or <laughs> um I've taken it apart before, but mainly to frame it as a piece of... Actually, someone else did that for me. I took it apart and just kind of left it there and they framed it for me. All right, all right, all right. So these are a bigger thread than what I got going on here. So let's... Oops, not that part, this part. Take that out. And it should be that one. Let's see here. Yep, perfect. All right. I am going to take this screw. Let's see. I'm trying to think how to do this because I want this is this one's screwed. I don't have to worry about this one as much. But I'm going to have to spend a lot of time in here, so I should attempt to take the disc platter out of this one. Even though this is the one I want the information out of, I should attempt to take the disc platter, or should I? Because I'd want less damage to this than anything, but then more dust would get in it. Hmm. You know what? I'm I'm gonna do the Lenovo one first, just because if I screw something up, I know what not to do on that one, and causing more damage to it really isn't what I'm doing. So let's put those screws over there, and uh, let's see here. Wait a minute. The screw right here. That's not very visible on the camera, is it? Silver on silver. Yeah, you're funny. The screw right here is already exposed, and while this has a stick, this hard drive, yeah, I think it's retro um, refurbished. Yeah, well, that just kind of pisses me off. HP, we use refurbished things in our new laptops because we're awesome like that. Well, let's get this out of here. Okay, I need to hold it for this one. Get that sticker out of there. You're voiding your warranty. Yeah, uh, the warranty's already gone. That and the SSD drive that I have in there is far superior. And I was never using this hard drive in particular. I mean, 250 gigs, I can't... I mean, I got other drives for backups, so I don't, I don't need it for that. Yeah, okay, so... Let's get this out of here. And over there. That one's all snug. And over there. I'm assuming that the screw in the middle here is different than these, thread-wise or length-wise or whatever, because it has a little dot on it, while well, the others really don't. And usually when they have a little dot on it, that lets the manufacturing machine know when to stop screwing in. Or how many... I don't know. From what I know, it, it lets it know how many rotations it screws in and when it needs to stop, so... But uh, we're not a machine, so we're just gonna, you know, wing it. Yep, definitely different. Shorter. Much shorter. Okay, well... Put that over all the way to the side. Okay, I believe that is it. Let's get, um, I know it's metal, but I need to, they're usually really suction cupped in there. And I know where the disc is, the disc platter is right here, so I should probably pull it from this side first, just in case I, I butterfinger it up a little bit. I need something to work off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I'm a dummy. I forgot a screw kind of hidden behind that uh, sticker there. Come here. Come over there. Let's get that last one and we can actually get somewhere. That'd be good. Nope, nope. Come here. There we go. Okay. Now we can get somewhere. So this one I felt, yep, that one gave. And this one, come on. There we go. Okay. 
And now I'm going to move myself so I don't breathe into it so much. Let go. Okay, so. Ooh. The filter is touching the hard drive. That's no good. Okay, let's flip this over. Or should we? Nope, nope. Screw it. Just don't sneeze on it. Okay, let's go way over here. These are also some of the tools that come with the iFixit bag, so let's take that little guy there. I believe he goes there, but I'm not going to attempt that. We're just trying to recover data, not make a hard drive, so go away. Go away. Go. Chew. There we go. Okay, so the disk is right, that big platter right there, the one big platter, and that one needs to go. So I believe this looks to be the same thread size. Yes, yes it is. Okay, and it's nice because the heads, as you can see over here, these are the reed heads for the platter. They are disengaged and move over here so I can safely remove the platter, which is awfully nice. Okay, so is there a screw at the bottom? No, there is not. But that is a tiny little motor. Hmm. Okay, so, and the screw moves with the bladder like that. So I need a tool to hold the platter in place. Hold on, I need to, need to think about this. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, this could work. I got two points right there. Ooh! Ooh, I felt a give. And I see dust on the platter. Oh my. Okay, so let's move my hand differently here. Okay. I'm going slow because I know there's a motor under here and I really don't want to screw the motor. Oh, oh. Okay, gentle, gentle. There we go. Okay, so this, off you go, right there. Okay, so this, this part here, I do not want clipping, so I'm going to jam it up here, loosen it, there we go, okay, and off you go, go on, get off. I didn't think about this part. I may have something promising here. A, a Q-tip with the ends cut off and a rubber band at the top. No idea if this will work, but you know, I'm, I'm already knee deep in this already, so let me move these tools over here. Alright. So what I'm going to do is put this, because I can, I can touch the edges of the hard drive, maybe just a little bit, but not very much. Get that set up. Okay. The scratching is just the uh, the side scraping against the motor end. Okay. Getting somewhere. Now I have to expand it. Okay. That looks promising. It looks very promising. Okay. Um, well, this is no longer useful. It served its purpose quite well, in fact. Okay. I feel very comfortable with that. Well, more than anything else. So let's put all, let's put that right there. I'll need that. Okay. Now for some glorious moments of truth. Oh boy. these out of here. This refurbished second-hand HP nonsense. Yeah. Okay, get over there. It's funny. They're both Hitachis, two different companies. 
But one's clearly a different quality grade than the other one. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because it's second hand? I don't know. I don't, it's like, I honestly don't know if she got it second hand or not, but I doubt it. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? All the cheap stuff they put in commercial computers anyway. Okay, here we go. Moments of truth. Try not to breathe too much into the hard drive. Alright, so first, okay. I'm gonna have to come in to get the disc platter out, so I'm gonna need to get the disc platter out. And then this needs to be right here waiting for me. And that's right there, and that's I don't need that anymore. I'll need this and that. Okay. Let's do it. There's barely any seal on that one. That one I had to fight to get the seal out a little bit. This one's like, mm, yeah, I'm done. Which makes me kind of worried if there's already pre existing dust in here. Or what? Okay, okay. Let's try and do this quickly and calmly. I need to remove that guy because he's going to be in my way. Away you go. You're gone. Alright, alright. Now, do the little trick here where I stop shaking so much. Oh boy. Can you tell I am just terribly nervous? Okay, good. It's going good. And yes, the little plastic flap there is above the disc platter, so I'm going to have to remember to do that when I put it on the other one. Alright, it's over here. see any dust on it so let's see if we can keep it that way no don't okay hard drive is trying to run away from me I don't like that I can always amp my voice in post, so I don't care. Okay, so I need to get in the divots. I need both hands for this. Not too tight because I think that stops the motor if it's too tight. I don't want to open this again. I do not see any dust on the hard drive. I 
something in there. Okay. Okay. All right. I could breathe a little bit more because the top is on it. Okay. Let's just get that short screw back on the reader head motor part. Okay, just snug, not too tight. All right, all right. I have my laptop waiting, running partition magic. Best hard drive recovery nonsense I've ever used. Okay, now I put the original board back on here, so that's good to go. The way it structures the disc platter should be the same, so that shouldn't be any different. Let's put a case on this just in case you have to do something. I'm trying to do two things at once here. Stop that. Okay, just in case. It's always good to have plan plan B alongside with you know three others. Because frankly, this is plan. What am I? <laughs> I'm on my fourth one. First was just to plug it into Partition Magic to see if it even see the drive. It saw the drive, but it couldn't read anything. Next was just raw data extraction, so it pulls out everything in bytes. Yeah, that didn't work. It didn't even read it. So I'm very much assuming that the reader head or something with the circuitry got zapped on its way down with the laptop onto the floor. Okay. I know I've been doing a lot of it down here. Sorry, I, I didn't crop that right, but let's hope this turned out. All right. Okay, here we are with uh, Partition Magic working its magic. The hard drive that I put the replace the platter in works. The only thing I had to do was I had to change the controller board again, and now it actually works. Before, it was just like, mm, nah. So now it's doing that. And I'm copying over to another hard drive over here. You can't see or whatever. And uh, it's, uh, it's very promising. Let's, uh, let's get in on this bad boy here. Uh, shaky cam, stop that. All right, so as you can see, there is uh, information going, which is a lot more than I had before because there was nothing going before. It was just uh, kind of dead. I can crop my shot, honest. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna take a while. Actually, it's not actually taking that long. It's already at 30%. It says it's gonna take nine minutes, but this, this is probably for one of the partitions. I'm copying, trying to copy the whole image as possible, as much as possible, so I can work with that rather than trying to use that small. But it's successfully working. It's uh, not exploding on me yet. If it does, I'll make sure to take pictures but anyway yeah and uh, just a note if you do use partition magic I highly suggest if you have a laptop that you commonly use take the hard drive out of it first really I mean just that little one little misclick and you can erase all the data off your hard drive or copy it over or whatever so this is the SSD drive uh, this was actually the original hard drive well except for the platter and you know what I'm talking about. And this is the SSD drive I replaced. I had to tape it because I had to take off the, the bracket so it can um you know, I had to take off the bracket so it'd become a seven millimeter drive rather than a normal um, normal laptop drive. It's a little a little thinner. Poor lighting, I know. Anyway, that's going to be working at it, and uh, yeah, there's there's success, so.